Hello, in this video, I'm excited to walk you through the inner workings of the hydraulic system that drives PowerJax. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how a hydraulic system works and how they enable PowerJax to lift and lower heavy loads with ease. So let's get started. Before we jump into the technical details, let's understand the basic principle of hydraulics. At its core, hydraulics deals with the mechanical properties of fluids, particularly incompressible liquids like oil or hydraulic fluid. One of the fundamental concepts we'll explore is Pascal's Principle. Pascal's Principle states that when pressure is applied to a fluid in an enclosed space, that pressure is transmitted equally in all directions. So, when we exert the force on a small area, it gets translated into a much larger force on a larger area connected to the same fluid system. For example, if two pistons are connected to an enclosed hydraulic chamber, when pressure is exerted on piston 1, it produces an equal increase in pressure on the piston 2. If the second piston has an area 10 times of the first, the force on the second piston is 10 times greater, though the pressure is the same as that of the first piston. Now, let's see how this principle applies to pallet jacks. The hydraulic system in these jacks consists of three primary parts, hydraulic cylinder, hydraulic pump, and the hydraulic fluid. The hydraulic pump is the heart of the system. It uses mechanical force often created by a lever or handle. Once the lever or handle is pressed, the hydraulic pump draws hydraulic fluid from the reservoir and pressurizes it, creating a high pressure environment. This pressurized fluid is then sent through the tubes to the hydraulic cylinder. The hydraulic cylinder, on the other hand, is equipped with a piston that moves up and down inside a cylinder barrel. The piston has a rod attached to it, which is connected to the pallet jack forks. Now, Let's walk through the lifting process step by step. As explained, when you press the pallet jack handle, you activate the hydraulic pump, which pressurizes the hydraulic fluid. As the fluid pressure increases, it exerts a force on the piston inside the hydraulic cylinder. Thanks to Pascal's principle, this force is transmitted throughout the fluid, causing the piston and the attached rod to move upwards. As the rod rises, the pallet jack forks also lift effortlessly, raising the heavy load off the ground. Now, lowering the pallet jack is just as crucial as lifting. The pallet jack hydraulic system allows for precise and controlled lowering of the load. By releasing the handle slowly, the hydraulic fluid can flow back to the reservoir, and the pressure inside the cylinder decreases gradually. It's essential to handle this process carefully to avoid sudden drops, which could damage the load or pose safety risks. And there you have it, the science behind how hydraulics work on pallet jacks. We explore the principle behind hydraulics, how Pascal's principle is applied and the detailed workings of the pallet jack hydraulic system. All are making it an indispensable tool in warehouses and stores. Thank you for watching our video. If you found it insightful, we'd appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to stay connected. We welcome your thoughts, ideas, and any queries you might have, so please don't hesitate to drop a comment below. Now, before we wrap up, I'd like to introduce you to our dedicated platform, PilotJackson.com a comprehensive solution for all your pallet jack maintenance requirements. Our website is a hub for premium quality parts across a diverse range of makes and models, from hydraulic components to electrical parts, load support systems, and other crucial accessories. We provide them all at the most competitive prices in the market. Make PalletJackson.com your go-to resource for every pallet jack needs. Link to our website is in the description, please make sure to visit.
Until then, thank you once again for watching and see you next time. Ciao!